Now, a man is dead following an officer-involved shooting on Jacksonville's west side. It's busy, busy morning. We know the, the name of the individual that uh, the two officers shot at. They say this individual was intoxicated and had a gun that they were firing randomly. Renata DiGregorio on your side now. We're uh, zooming in on the map. When we say the west side, we're talking 103rd and Blanding. So West Jacksonville, Renata, what do we know about the man involved here? Yeah, Lou, what we know right now is that JSO says his name is Randy Sharp. And right where this happened, you just mentioned the west side. Specifically, we're right in the parking lot area of Save-A-Lot and Buddy's Home Furnishings, right here on Blanding, right by 103rd Street. And we are told that Sharp was 30 years old, and we know he had a criminal history, including robbery and domestic complaints. JSO's chief, Alan Parker, says that the situation actually didn't start here, though. He says Sharp asked his friend for a ride to the bank earlier in the day and that he was intoxicated when she picked him up. She drove him to the bank to get rent money, but then they got into an argument, and at about 9.30 at night, she parked in the area that we just showed you here, according to police. She tells JSO that she got out of her car during the argument, started to walk away, then heard gunshots. Sharp was shooting the gun that she kept in her car, shooting into the parking lot, police say. They continued to argue for a little bit. She got out of the car to walk away, and as she's walking away, she heard gunshots. She turned around and realized that our suspect in this incident had taken her pistol that she had in the car and he was shooting it out in the parking lot. When officers got here, they say that Sharp ran to the back of the parking lot where he pointed a gun at them. Two officers fired and Sharp went down and he later as he was taken to the hospital where he died. We know that JSO's chief says they rendered aid, but again, he died and police say that this is the 12th officer involved shooting. We know that the state attorney's office is also investigating independently and we will let you know more on them as we check up with that as well. Stay with us here on First Coast News. Reporting live on Blanding Boulevard, Renance Gregorio, First Coast News on your side.